Hey y'all, it's Sandy with the Homestead Life in Appalachia. Thought I'd take y'all along for a little walk and uh, maybe have a little chit chat as I get mad at one of my chickens. She keeps wanting to, Willie stop. She keeps wanting to get one of my dogs. Good luck. So. Joey, say hi. Hi, 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 Joey. Hi, Joey. Hi, Tiki. So, hi, Tiki. It's a beautiful day. Hi, Tiki. Yes, hi, chicken. Hi, Tiki. Um, we've been busy today. I've been trying to start getting everything ready for winter. Um, Let me oak. Let me oak. Been cleaning and fixing to get the winter clothes out of storage. Sorry for the light, it's awful bright out here. But you can see behind me up on the hill, it's beautiful. <laughs> Joey, you dropped a piece of paper. Joey is all about his books. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, anyways, we went to the Homesteaders of America conference this past weekend. And let me just say, we absolutely loved it. If you haven't been and you want to go i suggest going um, next year it's going to be october 9th and 10th um, so i've already got it on my calendar um first weekend in november the stivers are having a fall uh celebration they're going to try to go to that too i think it'd be pretty fun it was fun getting to meet everybody and you know, put put the put the actual person with the YouTube channel. You know what I mean? So, anyways, let me turn you around here real quick. Look how pretty that is. I love fall. The leaves are starting to change. My dogs, they just roam all over. So. It's just so beautiful out here. I love our state so much. Um, but, you know, I love being on a homestead. Something that we've always wanted to do. Sometimes homesteading sucks. Yeah. This year has not been good for our goats. So far we've lost six goats this year. We lost one this morning. He's one of our little ones. Um, about six months old. So, her head got caught in the fabric fence. And you know, I've grown to believe something that I read on Facebook some time ago. It said, I hope y'all could see me because I'm having a rough time seeing. Um, it says that goats live their entire life trying to figure out how to kill themselves. And you know, I truly think that's true. Because I tell you what, these goats, they're the most comical, funny animals that I've ever seen. But sometimes I think they're the dumbest. You know, it's like, okay, how many times do I have to get you out of that fence before you're going to learn not to get in that fence, you know? I'm like, come on, Really? You already had a yoke on you. Yeah, it's no yoke. We had to yoke them. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's our fault too because we don't have the proper fencing up. So, that's something that we're going to concentrate on this winter. And, you know, we're not going to get any more animals until we can get the right fencing. Um... Because it's all been about money, you know. We're trying to get debt free and we're almost there. So, it's just about money. And fencing can be expensive. So, we need to get the woven wire fence. At nighttime, they are fenced in really good. We have a um, chain link lot that they stay in at night. So, I don't have to worry about that. But when they... 
and they get out during the day, it's when all the trouble starts. So, and we're still walking down our road. Yeah, Joey's one of the reasons why we moved out here. Because Joey can just go as he pleases. If he wants to go outside, he can go outside. He's never been a wanderer. That's the one good thing with his autism, is that he's never, ever wandered off. Never. So, that's a good thing. Now, we're fixing to build the goats a new shelter, too. That one there is just temporary, but can you see the chain link? They have a pretty big lot that they're in. So, that's where they stay at nighttime. But, anyways. Um, it's supposed to rain all day long tomorrow. 100% chance. At least according to my weather app. So, that's the start of the fence for my garden. Yeah, we gotta cut the hillside. It's just time. Time, time, time. This is all squash that has grown outside of my fence. See, there's a butternut there, if you can see it. It's huge. So, I think I'm gonna try to bake some butternut puree. They say butternut is wonderful as a mock pumpkin pie so i'm gonna try it see how it works oh we might walk in the garden since i have you along with me what's left of the garden we've been working on getting a lot of it out to get it ready for next year i'm really enjoying chatting with y'all this is my mom's cabin She's off grid. I don't know if you can see them, but there's her solar panels up there. Maybe you can see them, maybe you can't, I don't know. But see, most of my garden is covered with the black cloth, but you can tell which part isn't. Because the weeds done took it over. So let's see here. Let's walk. I have some loofahs. See, I've still got pollinators in here. That's what's left of my Amish pea tomatoes, which I still have a ton of those growing. Um, these are boxcar willies, a little yellow cherry tomato. There's more loofah. I had six seeds that an online friend, Meg Fickle, sent to me. Uh, out of those six, I got one to grow, and all along this fence, and all along that fence, is all one seed. So, I'm not going to walk through that part, because I can't see the ground, and I don't like snakes. So, let's walk around the other way. Earlier this year, Wayne killed a rattlesnake in here. It was back there where the where the uh, potatoes were at. So, watch out, Joey. Um, this is part of the loofahs. Joey's stepping on them. But, uh, look at them. They're just growing. They, oh, gosh. They've just grown all over the place. We got more cherry tomatoes there. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, my tomatoes didn't do very well this year, but these were the atomic grape tomatoes. I planted a lot of those, but I didn't get very many. I don't think I'm going to plant them again because they take so long to ripen. Um, I planted back in planted those the first part of April and I didn't start getting ripened tomatoes until probably the middle of September. It took a long time. Uh, 
that was my cucumber trellis. You can see the remnants of what's left. Um, I had squash over there. There's still some there. I just need to get it up. Um, should still be all right. Um, this is more squash along here. Another loofah. Two more loofahs. All these loofahs. If anyone wants loofah seeds, when I harvest these, leave your name below or send me a message on Facebook with your address and I'll be more than happy to send you some. Um, you can see where we've been pulling up tomato plants. Um, all those are Amish pea tomatoes. Um, all those are Amish pea tomatoes. It was my first year planting them. I didn't know how prolific they would be. So these were all the ground cherries that they've all gone to waste. I just haven't had time to, to get them. I mean, I could probably get some out now. There's some more squash, butternut squash. Um, my greenhouse is coming apart. That plastic should have lasted a couple years on it, but I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was already old or what, but it didn't last very long. So, as I'm stepping on all these ground cherry tomatoes, um, we still have a lot of squash over the fence. I gotta get all the stuff cleaned up. How many of you just feel like there's not enough hours in the day? Me. <laughs> Truth, so true. A lot of these tomato plants are going to have to be burned. Look, there's another butternut there. It's orange butternut. Um, but anyways, a lot of these tomato plants are going to have to be burned because of the blight. Where it rains so, so much this year. In the spring and early summer. It, it was just awful. That's why these weeds are so bad. Because I couldn't get in here because of the rain. So, and just think, if half my garden wasn't covered with black plastic or the black landscape fabric, I wouldn't be able to walk in here right now. So, anyways, I just wanted to bring y'all along for a little chit-chat. We're trying to get better at making videos and being more consistent because we know that consistency is the key to this. Um... Now we're starting to get a little bit more time. Things are slowing down now that the gardening seasoning season is over and canning is over. So I'm going to sign off for now. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, I hope you have a blessed day.